Welcome to Virtual Ag Expo. We're here at McHenry County College in the greenhouses. My name is Rich Tobias and I'm one of the faculty members here at the college and we're going to be talking today about hydroponics. And hydroponics is a way of growing plants without soil. So if you think about it, we can grow plants with just water and nutrients, add a little oxygen, and they grow tremendously for us. And so in places where we don't have soil, uh, we can grow them very, very well. So we're gonna start out here in bay number one, and I'm gonna walk over and we're gonna take a look at tomatoes that are growing here right now. And what you see as we go by on the, on the left-hand side here is the computer system that actually runs all of our growing. So it makes it a lot easier for us to uh, grow without having to be here every day of the week. And it measures things like the acidity of the soil. If it needs some nutrients, it adds those automatically measures the temperature of the water. As I walk by here, you can see a lot of tomatoes that are growing, and these have been growing for probably some seven or eight months already. They're already up to the ceiling, and in fact, they've actually spread. You can see the vines on the ground, and what we do is, when the leaves have gotten older, we actually go ahead and we, gr we cut off the, um, uh, st the, the leaves and let them continue to grow up. So these are fairly old, what I'll do is I'll pick one up here and we can take a look at the roots of this plant. They're just amazing here. If you stop and think about it, the roots of this plant are just tremendous. And, and that's because what we're doing is we're allowing nutrients to flow through this. We're also adding some oxygen for the roots and we give them all the nutrients we're supposed to. And you can see exactly, these are cherry tomatoes Many of the ones that we do grow are grown specifically for growing here under hydroponic conditions in a greenhouse. And we're in the greenhouse today where it's sunny, it's warm, and uh, we're actually trying to cool it down because it's just a little bit too warm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move from this bay out to bay number three, which is where we have most of our hydroponics growing. Okay, so we're now here in uh, bay three, which is primarily where we grow hydroponics. And we have several systems here, all of which are part of a class. If you look right down in front of me here, you're gonna see cucumbers that were planted just a couple of weeks ago. And it's really pretty amazing how fast they have grown up to be almost a foot and a half tall. And these will grow all the way up here to our trellis and then across the trellis. And what happens is the cucumber itself will hang down. Now, some of you might say, wait a minute, we need a bee or something to pollinate the cucumber. But these are specialty cucumbers that don't need that. They will not produce seed, but they will produce a cucumber. So it's a pretty interesting arrangement we have here. Across the back, as you can see, this is a different type of a system. And this system grows primarily our lettuce that we actually use here in the cafeteria. And we use it in our, our, our culinary program. And what you, what you can look at here, this is the roots of a, of a new lettuce plant. And you can just see how large they are and they're growing in something called rock wool. And instead of having soil, the rock wool will help hold on to the plant and the roots. It's made from a rock that was heated up, so it's a green material that's sort of porous. And then we just simply set these back into the little squares here as they start to grow. And they'll be here for five or six weeks growing down the line. We harvest them at the end, usually on Mondays and then we keep moving them down, starting new ones every week. So this is a specialty system. And if you ever go to Disney, you'll see this system. That's where one of the mouse heads is from Mickey Mouse down at uh, uh, Disney World. We're gonna head over this direction and we're gonna look at something else that's kind of special here. We have a lot of different systems. If, you're, if, you've, if anybody's ever grown or seen Swiss chard, this is a leafy vegetable related to the beet and they come in various colors and they cook down very nicely and they're called cut and come again because you can cut off a leaf and a new one grows back out. Now behind me you see a couple really interesting things. A lot of people will grow these upright type systems in their house and we see marigolds growing here right now. But behind me here is another small system in which you can see that we've got strawberries growing. So strawberries, usually you think about them producing in June, but we have strawberries that are produced in throughout the year. So two or three times a year, these will flower and produce berries. So we have fresh berries during the entire part of the year. 
Over here to our left is another interesting system here. These are peppers, green peppers. Now you never see peppers that grow that tall, but we have peppers growing here. And you can see some of them, we've started some new ones, but these will grow all the way up to the top as well. We harvest green peppers and red peppers. Growing in the bottom here are some newly transplanted celery, which we're trying to grow. Uh, we haven't grown a lot of celery before, but this is celery growing in here and it's been watered. Over to my left, we see herbs. And so there's things like basil and uh, cilantro, a thyme, rosemary. So some of the herbs that you might grow in the garden, we're doing by the same kind of a system, which pumps the nutrients and circulates it around the roots. Over here, what you see is where we start plants. And so what you can, what you can look at is the rock wall where it's nice and small. And what you're seeing is the, the leaf of lettuce that'll be growing out there starting in a week or so. We're growing this to get these going. The final thing, and you can't quite see the whole thing, but this blue tank here, in about a couple of weeks, will house fish. And so instead of being called hydroponics, this is called aquaponics. And so the fish are here, we will, they're not here right now, but we will fill this up, put fish in there, probably tilapia. And then the fish, there, the water that they, that they use will go over here and help fertilize plants. So you can see the raft system before it's put together. We'll grow herbs and lettuce and kale and things with the nutrients from the fish. So you'll have both a fish harvest and a plant harvest. So again, all of this is controlled by computer. We're here at McHenry County College in Bay 3 of our greenhouse. And thanks for coming and joining us for virtual uh, Ag Expo.